What up YouTube, my name is Nathaniel Green and welcome to King Badoja's Effects. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can use your Chaos Cache Manager inside Unreal Engine 5.0.3. This should be a cool little tutorial, but with all that said, let's get started. First thing what we want to do is actually activate, enable the plugin. I already did it, but um, if you don't know how to do it and you didn't do it already, all you want to do is go to edit plugins and then just type in chaos and it will be right here this is what you'll be looking for this should be unchecked so all you have to do is just check it it'll probably give you a little caution warning just click yes and um, this one should be checked by default but if it's not check this one as well and then click the little restart button down there and um, yeah you should be all good after that next thing what we want to do is um, simulate physics we want some um, some interaction with these two because I'm gonna have this sphere crash into this cube um, the first thing what we want to do actually is simulate the physics so um, I'm gonna just check the sphere first we have it here um, physics and I'm just going to go to right here where it says simulate physics. I'm going to check that. And I'm also going to check the mass. And we're going to do the same with the cube. So I'm just going to. Oh, and the cube is already checked. All right. So that's good. It's already checked. And the next thing what we want to do is now is actually fracture this um, cube. So how we want to do that is all we want to do is go right over here. Make sure your cube is selected because needs to be selected with this little orange just click it and you get this little orange line around your cube then you go over here to select mode just click that scroll all the way down to fracture click that now we'll have two little pages right here that pop up but the important one is the one in the back the second one and the first thing you want to do is click new because we're about to, go to start a new fractured um, object and um, you can create a folder if you want to put it in a particular folder but I'm just gonna leave it as is so I'm just gonna click here after that you wanna um, choose what kinda um, what kind of fracture do you want I'm just gonna use um, the uniform but um, if you were trying to like fracture glass, you want a more of a glass look, you might want to use the radio. Or if you're trying to crash into a brick wall and you want it to look more like a brick wall, then you use the brick. You get the point. Just, you know, play with these and um, it'll give you different kind of shadow effects. But I'm just going to be sticking with uniform. Okay. And the next thing what you want to do is come over here where it says minimum Veroni sites and maximum Veroni sites these are the two important things what we're gonna play with let me actually move this down because as you can see it's 20 by 20 that's pretty much how many shatter pieces is in our cube right now see if I actually make it one by one you'll see the noise in here is gone because it's pretty much one piece I'm actually gonna make it 90 by 90 you can do whatever you want depending on how many pieces you want um you know in your static mesh um i'm gonna do 90 by 90 but just be advised um it does tax your gpu depending on how how big you choose the number to be and what kind of gpu you got so keep that in mind so um yeah i'm gonna keep it like this next thing what you want to do just go down here see where it says add samples if you click this you can see the noise watch the noise change that's pretty much like your fractured pieces changing you can change the the look of the shape when you're happy with a look let's just say okay I'm happy with that when you're happy all you have to do is hit fracture now we're good now what I like to do is scroll up here and I use this explode amount just to see how my pieces look. You can see how big the pieces are. Now let's just say I want to kind of chop them up again. You know, I want to make these pieces even smaller. 
So I'll just hit fracture again. See that? Slice them up again. And let's just say I want them even more chopped up than this. I'll hit it one more time. See that? And I'm um, okay with that. Now this also is taxing to your GPU too. So keep that in mind. You might don't want to do too many, but depends on how powerful your GPU is. You know, I'll let you decide that for yourself. But um, once you're done with everything, and I'm done with everything, I'm actually going to go back up here to explode amount. I'm just going to actually bring that back down to zero. And then um, we're going to clear all this just by going up here to fracture mode and go back to select. And now we're clear of everything. But as you can see, our cube lost his um, material. So to bring his material back, to bring the material back to the cube, all you want to do is make sure it's selected and we'll type under details bone. See, it says show bone color. Just uncheck that. Bring us our uh, material right back. All right, so um, the next thing what we want to do is let's just uncheck this we also want to go to damage threshold there it go right here damage threshold now this is basically how much damage it takes for this to be destroyed so when I'm ramming this into this it'll be destroyed at 500,000 but what works what I like that works best is 5,000 so um, yeah I'm just gonna click 5,000 up in here but you can play with the numbers if you like. But for me, this is like the sweet point. I kind of like this number. So make it 5,000 and then um, you're done with that. Next thing, let's just double check one more time. Let's click out of here. Let's just make sure our physics is still activated. Because I know sometimes. Okay, so physics is activated. Let me just check the mass again. And the same for this. All right. And simulate still checked mass still check all right we're looking good all right the last thing what we're going to do now is we're going to go to that plugin the chaos cache manager now what you want to do is make sure your cube is highlighted or whatever mesh you have in there that you're trying to shatter make sure it's highlighted you check it you mean you click it then all you have to do is go up here to actor scroll down to chaos create cache manager and i'm just going to save that all right now we have our it's right here i'm actually going to bring that inside of our sequencer along with the cube and along with the sphere okay so we have our chaos manager here what you want to do next is go right here where it says track this is important click the track click the start time now um see it's zero right now let's just actually keyframe it right there we want to keyframe it because this is going to start capturing um the shatter effects the keyframes and everything um another thing is if you go keep while you have this um selected if you go over here under details you'll see it says record this is what you want make sure it says record it has um also static pose and play but no, you want record. Just make sure it's on record. It should be there by default. But if it's not, um, make it def <laughs> make it um, record. All right. So um, next, what we want to do is I'm going to have this sphere run into this and crash. So I'm actually going to create some keyframes for this right now. So um, we're here in my sphere. I'm going to go over here to transform and I'm just going to click keyframe here. And um when it gets to this point right here, my sphere, hold on, it's not uh, lined up. Make sure we have it lined up. It's gonna run right into this, but right there. And um, let's keyframe that. So let's check that out. Hold on. Hold on. Let me do something. Just bring this cube down then this way. Let's see. There we go. 
It's going to ram right into this. That's cool. All right. Now, how are we going to do this? Is now let me just hit play one more time. There we go. All right. We're getting ready. Get ready to watch some destruction. This is the fun part. All right. What we want to do now is get ready to capture this in, um, animation. So uh, what we want to do is go up here to simulate. So I'm click these little three dots and we want to click simulate. And all I'm going to do is just hit the plus to start it. And stop it. Now, if I bring it back, the ball will come back, but not it didn't um, shatter or anything. But that's okay because we captured it with these zeros. Now, you see, you can actually scroll these zeros up. Watch this. See that? I'm scrolling it up. I just um, using the mouse, and I can go back. So, how you gonna do this? Basically, is keyframe because it's set keyframes. So let's just have it back right here so let's have let's play this right here this is when you starting to do your animation work so when it gets to this point when it gets to right here let's just say when it gets to there now i'm going to actually scroll up and as you can see it already created a keyframe so let's just get to the first part of the explosion about maybe about right right there that looks good and then as it gets here maybe a little bit more explosion and then when it gets all the way here we're gonna have it you know bring it all out right there there you go now if we bring this back and play it this is what we're gonna get now let's hit play there you go And that's how easy it is. <laughs> you can move your cameras around and everything. Yeah. That's it. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If it was, comment, like, and subscribe. And like always, see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.